eyes he said, reflected the lights of a million stars and that in them he had drowned and found his lost dream. Beneath his own skin, my energies made him feel a new movement rise from within, uncontrollable. So to avoid one of us falling behind, we held hands and walked together through life expectant. Like a nine-month pregnant being, he taught me to always birth in some dreams. Just like me, he would say. And I would say how vain, and he would laugh such a hearty and infectious laugh full of tomorrows that bring like echoes of Adbert's mind and his as we sat under the Dombushawa sky watching Dombushawa. Yeah. 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 He was the one who told me that the sky is so near I could leap and sit on it, not just touch it. That warmth is not from the sun alone, but from the very core of one side. Then he drew me close and whispered to my soul. Yeah. The one dream recurring that is lonely nights held a conversation at bay. He said he sometimes reached out, groping in the dark, seeking for a reassurance. I will not fade like a dream at dawn. <laughs> he was hid away with words, this man. Like a seamstress at work, hand weaving through my heart with all shades of colors. Tender moments that linger upon my heart, so sweet and so divine, like his cologne. But then morning comes and. You wake up and you open your eyes and you realize it was nothing but a dream. Oh.